You ever notice how everyone's talking about AI these days, but no one tells you how to actually build the stuff that matters? Well, today we are changing that. My name is Daniel, and this time I've got an AI product manager roadmap for you. Whether you're a techie trying to break into product management or a PM curious about AI, this video is your step-by-step -step guide to becoming an AI product manager in 2025. We'll break down what the role actually involves, how it differs from traditional PM work, and most importantly, how you can get there even if you're starting from scratch. But before we continue with our AI product manager roadmap, I want to take a quick minute to tell you about something that saved my behind more times than I can count. You know that heart-stopping moment when you realize you've accidentally deleted an important file? Maybe it was a presentation for work or worse, those irreplaceable vacation photos. Well, that's where today's sponsor, Wondershare Recovery, comes in. Now, let me quickly show you how this works, guys. First, you'll need to head over to recoverit.wondershare.com and download the software takes just a couple of minutes. Once you're set up with an account, you'll see this super clean interface where everything is right at your fingertips. You simply choose where to scan. Could be your entire system, a specific drive, or even external devices. The software shows all your drives, so no technical knowledge needed. Next, just pick where you think the files went missing. No confusing steps, just point and click. Hit scan and let the software dig through your storage, fast or deep depending on what you need. The best part is that you can preview everything before recovering, so you know exactly what's coming back. Last step, choose where to save your recovered files, hit recover and you're done. Just make sure to use a different drive so nothing gets accidentally overwritten. And guys, the success rate is crazy good. We're talking about a 99.5% recovery success rate. Whether you're dealing with an accidental deletion, a corrupted drive, or even a system crash, Recover It has got your back. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, but I'm not tech savvy. Don't worry. If you can point and click a mouse, you can use this software. It's designed for everyone from total beginners to tech experts. So if you want to make sure your important data stays protected, Check out Wondershare Recover It using the special link in the description below. Thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. All right, now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Becoming an AI product manager in 2025. Let's get into it. What is AI product management? All right, guys, let's start with the basics. AI product management is essentially the practice of overseeing products that utilize artificial intelligence technologies from conception all the way through to launch and beyond. But it's so much more than just understanding a bit of machine learning. AI product management sits at this fascinating intersection of technology, business strategy and user experience. You're essentially the bridge between technical AI teams and business objectives, making sure that AI solutions actually solve real problems that customers have. Now, what makes AI product management unique is that you're dealing with products that can learn, adapt, and sometimes make decisions autonomously. These aren't static products. They evolve over time based on the data they consume. That means as an AI PM, you need to think about the initial product launch, but also how this product will grow, change, and potentially improve itself over time. It's product management with this extra layer of complexity. And honestly, my friends, that's what makes it so fascinating. What do AI product managers do? So what does your day-to-day -day look like as an artificial intelligence PM? Well, your responsibilities are incredibly varied, which is what makes this role so exciting. First off, you'll spend a lot of time understanding user needs and how AI can address them in ways traditional software can't. This means conducting user research specifically focused on areas where AI might add value. You'll also work closely with data scientists and machine learning engineers to define the AI capabilities of your product. This doesn't mean you need to code models yourself, but you do need to understand how they work at a conceptual level. You'll help define what data the models need, what outputs they should produce, and most importantly, what success looks like. Another huge part of your job, folks, is managing the ethical dimensions of AI. This means thinking about bias in your training data, ensuring privacy concerns are addressed, and making sure your AI systems are transparent and explainable when they need to be. You'll need to establish governance frameworks for your AI systems and stay on top of the rapidly evolving regulatory landscape. You'll also be responsible for setting the product roadmap, prioritizing features, 
and communicating the value of AI features to stakeholders who might not fully understand the technology. And of course, you'll measure success, not just in traditional metrics like user engagement or revenue, but also in AI-specific metrics like model accuracy, false positive rates, or inference time. Difference between AI product management and traditional product management now you might be wondering, how different is this really from traditional product management? Well, guys, there are some fundamental differences you need to understand. First and foremost, AI products are probabilistic rather than deterministic. Traditional software follows very specific rules. If a user does X, the software does Y every single time. But AI systems make predictions based on patterns they've learned, which means they operate on probabilities rather than certainties. As an AI PM, you need to get comfortable with this uncertainty and set appropriate expectations with stakeholders and users. Data is also absolutely central to AI product management in a way that's different from traditional PM roles. In traditional product management, data helps inform decisions. In AI product management, data is the product in many ways. The quality, quantity and diversity of your training data directly impacts what your product can do. So you'll spend much more time thinking about data strategy, data governance and data quality than a traditional PM would. Another key difference, my friends, is the feedback loop. AI products often get better with use as they consume more data and learn from interactions. This means you're not just shipping features and moving on. You're constantly monitoring how models are performing and evolving over time. There's this continuous improvement aspect that's much more pronounced in AI products. Lastly, the ethical dimensions are far more complex. Traditional software has ethical considerations too, but AI brings unique challenges around bias, privacy, transparency, and automation that require specialized knowledge and frameworks. As an AI PM, you'll need to become fluent in AI ethics and develop strategies to ensure your products are developed and deployed responsibly. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. How to become an AI product manager in 2025 – a step-by-step -step guide. Alright folks, now for the part you've all been waiting for – the actual roadmap to becoming an AI PM in 2025. I'm going to break this down into manageable steps that will take you from wherever you are now to land in that dream AI PM role. First, you need to build a solid foundation in product management fundamentals. If you are completely new to product management, start by understanding core concepts like user research, market analysis, road mapping, and feature prioritization. There are tons of great courses out there from places like Product School, Mind the Product, or even free resources on YouTube. The fundamentals of good product management still absolutely apply in AI. They are just the baseline you need before adding the AI-specific knowledge. Next, you need to develop AI literacy. Now, I'm not saying you need to become a machine learning engineer, but you do need to understand how AI works at a conceptual level. Start with courses like Andrew Ayn's machine learning course on Coursera or Fast.ai if you want something more practical. Focus on understanding different types of AI approaches, what problems they are good at solving, and their limitations. Learn the lingo so you can communicate effectively with technical teams. Once you have those basics, guys, it's time to learn about the AI product lifecycle specifically. This means understanding how AI products are conceptualized, developed, deployed, and maintained. Look for specialized AI PM courses. By 2025, there are quite a few good ones out there from institutions like Berkeley, Northwestern, and online platforms like Coursera or Udemy. These courses will teach you AI-specific frameworks for things like data strategy, model evaluation, and responsible AI practices. Now here's something crucial, my friends. You need to develop a specialty. AI is being applied in virtually every industry now, but the applications vary widely. Are you interested in AI for healthcare, financial services, retail, enterprise, consumer apps? Pick an area where you have some background or strong interest and start building domain expertise there. This specialization will make you much more valuable than someone with general AI knowledge, but no domain depth. Next, build your network in the AI community. Join field-specific groups on LinkedIn and Discord, attend conferences like Applied Machine Learning Days or AI Product Week, and participate in specific artificial intelligence communities if they are relevant to you. This field moves incredibly fast, and having a strong network will help you stay current 
and open doors to opportunities. Then create tangible proof of your AI PM skills. This could be a capstone project from a course, a side project where you conceptualize a product and create documentation like PRDs or wireframes, or even blog posts analyzing existing artificial intelligence products. Employers want to see that you can think through product challenges, even if you haven't held an official AI PM title yet. Finally, position yourself strategically for AI PM roles. If you're already a product manager, look for opportunities to work on AI features within your current company. If you're coming from data science or machine learning engineering, emphasize your product thinking and business acumen. If you're coming from a business background, highlight your technical adaptability and focus on industries where your domain knowledge is valuable. Demand and salary expectations. Now let's talk money and opportunities, because I know that's what a lot of you folks are curious about. The demand for AI product managers has absolutely exploded in recent years, and by 2025, it's reached new heights. Companies across virtually every industry are implementing AI solutions, and they desperately need people who can bridge the gap between technical AI capabilities and business value. In terms of salary, AI product managers typically command a premium over traditional product managers. As of 2025, entry-level AI PMs in the US are looking at salaries starting around $110,000 to $130,000. Mid-level AI PMs with 3 to 5 years of experience can expect somewhere between $140,000 to $180,000. And senior AI PMs or those in leadership positions can easily see compensation packages exceeding 200 k especially when you factor in bonuses and equity. Now, these numbers do vary by location, industry and company size. Big tech companies and AI-focused startups in places like San Francisco or New York will typically pay at the higher end of the range. But even in smaller markets, AI PMs command impressive salaries due to the specialized knowledge required. It's not just about the money though, guys. The career trajectory for AI PMs is incredibly promising. Many go on to become product leaders, heads of strategy, or even found their own startups. The skills you develop as an AI PM are highly transferable and position you perfectly for leadership roles as artificial intelligence continues to transform businesses. Another thing worth mentioning is that remote work options have become standard for many AI PM roles. Companies have realized that AI talent is scarce and they are willing to be flexible on location to attract the right people. This means you have more options in terms of where you live and work, which is a nice perk of specializing in this field. Final thoughts. All right, my friends, we've covered a lot of ground today. Becoming an AI product manager in 2025 is an ambitious goal, but it's absolutely achievable with the right approach. Remember that this field is still evolving rapidly, which means there's no single defined path to success. That's actually a good thing. It means there's room for people with diverse backgrounds and perspectives to make their mark. And remember, folks, that AI product management isn't just a lucrative career path. It's an opportunity to shape how AI is integrated into our world. The products you'll help build will influence how people work, communicate, make decisions, and live their lives. That's an enormous responsibility, but also an incredible privilege. So there you have it, your roadmap to becoming an AI product manager in 2025. Drop your questions in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.